up guys Peter here back with another video and yes we're going to be talking more about NBA 2K17 there's been so many leaks so many new things put out lately because of the community day because of other things so this whole video is going to be specifically about my park and I know you guys love my park so if you could drop a like on this video that'd mean a lot and if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe but let's get right into it so the first thing new parks what are we expected with it now uh, of course, as we know, 2K's had the same three parks, Old Town, Rivet, and Sunset, for the past two years, uh, 15 and 16, of course. And um, I want to see maybe another affiliation, maybe all new affiliations, just something new, something other than the old three that we have. And uh, that'd be awesome. I think it's something we can definitely look to expect. If 2K really is keeping up with what they've been leaking so far, and it's been phenomenal, I cannot wait for this game. I did not expect all of this stuff to be in it. Uh, they've done a great job. Let's see if they do it with Park because they have admitted that they somehow care about Park just a little bit because um, they literally said that it was the most popular played game mode on NBA 2K16. So they have to care about it, you know what I mean? And then with these parks, uh, I think they should be more realistic. As we all know, the NBA 2K14 parks, um, they were very realistic. They were really cool. I really liked how they looked. And then with NBA 2K16, the parks aren't really realistic at all. I mean, they are creative, but I'd rather have like a combination of that. Like, is that possible? Okay, so you're having a bunch of basketball courts at a water park, at a parking lot of um like a amusement park slash like cargo slash city i don't even know and then you're having a bunch on top of a skyscraper like i think it'd be very more realistic just to have like the i don't know 2k15 i like that a lot better but maybe if you combine this because i know there's a lot of good things from 15 and 16 that you guys could combine and you guys have been doing that so yeah that is definitely what we can expect from the new parks if they're gonna stick with the three at least make the parks cool but it'd be cool to see a new affiliation in there because then with the rival days you could have like more of a tournament style uh rival day because maybe they could have like oh most wins for the first 12 weeks and then after that there's like a tournament so that'd be really cool uh 2k really has the potential to make my park great this year and i really hope they can do that now the next thing speaking of the rival days double rep weekends now as we know the rival days we had a little bit i think of a rep boost or like you got a little more rep if you went to like somebody else's park and like beat them obviously because they wanted people to participate and have it count towards uh like the surprise new park or whatever that was and i think just like uh, call of duty because i know there's been weekends that i decided to not play 2k and play call of duty because uh it was a double xp weekend and i think a double rep weekend would be a great addition and you could have them going through basically the whole year until maybe there's like a lot of like not until now because of course like there's a lot more legend fives but it would really keep the game going and encourage people to play and it'd just be great for people that are either grinding for a rep or it would just make the game last longer and yeah, I think we can definitely expect to see something similar to that, but um, definitely something along the lines of more rep when you're playing rival parts on rival days, stuff like that. But I want to see more of an extreme and uh, it'd be a great way for 2K to get people to play their game a lot more. Now the last two, they're very big, but they're also not so big. So that is two things. One, uh, no more 21. I don't know anybody that consistently plays 21. Uh, you're actually better off playing with park randoms in my opinion this the game design i mean i don't know nobody really plays 21 i think if they get rid of that maybe add like another twos court another threes court or something like that or completely change it that'd be awesome i don't think they should put 21 i don't think it was a great addition into this game and yeah that's one of the reasons i really like sunset because there's no 21 just taking up space where it could be a potential two score or something like that in the last thing um, this is very important to me because I hate playing CPUs in the park. I've played enough my career getting badges, getting attribute upgrades, fouling out, all that. i played enough my career. Why can you play against a team of all CPUs? Shouldn't the game already just end by then? They both have counted losses on their record, so why would you somehow lose to that? Because they are OP on defense and stuff like that. Like, I'm pretty sure it would save everybody's time in anything so say you're playing threes and all three opponents lag out or quit or something like that the game should just end i don't see why you would want to play cpus like i don't know i don't see why that is in the game it would just save everybody's time it would make the game more just better i guess uh, it's really hard to explain but you guys know what i mean you really want to play a team of all three cpus you can just 
go to the freaking my career and do that. So, um, yeah, no three CPUs, no a whole team of CPUs, just end the game. I mean, save everybody's time, and it'd be a great feature. Um, I hope 2K does put this, and this is something that you can actually patch into the game. So, yeah, what do you guys think about this? Uh, I know my park has been something that 2K has leaked some stuff about, but uh, we were expecting a lot more. LD made it sound like that they were going to put a lot more park news out. Of course, I'm going to be covering it, and there's already been a lot. If you've been paying attention, a lot of things maybe not too directly to my park, but especially with the walk-on pro-am slash rec center because it has the same function as a rec center, just stuff like that. Really gonna change park next year. I cannot wait for it. And yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you think of these in the comment section below because I'm really excited to see what 2K has in store. Anyway, again, drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. We are grinding for 7K subscribers and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.